Hey guys, Mudcat here with 2XP Gaming, and today I want to do a review uh, of something I just got in the mail. I'm super excited about it. I haven't done a review in a while, but this is super exciting, um, and I think it's something you're going to be interested in, something I'm, gonna, I'm interested in, um, and it's something that uh, when I was trying to buy, reviews really helped me, so I wanted to make one to just put one out there in case people needed help with, uh, with buying this. And what we're talking today uh, about is... Uh, an Ultra Saber. This is a, a custom lightsaber from uh, from the company Ultra Saber. You can see it here. This is the Dominix version 4. Uh, very black, very sleek looking Sith style hilt. Uh, we'll get more into that. Um, so when it comes in the mail, uh, it came pretty quickly. It came within about three days uh, or shipped it within about three days of me ordering it. Uh, it was very fast. Um, came with some some business cards in the box. The box is nothing spectacular. Came with some information about the batteries. Came with some information about how to use your sound card and the sound functions. Um, and then I ordered a rechargeable uh, station for the lithium ion batteries that are inside of this thing. Um, so that's what came in the box. And so I'm very excited about this. I've been wanting a saber for a long time. Finally pulled the trigger on one. Um, and the thing's awesome. It's super cool. All right, so let's talk a little bit first before I start showing you the features of the Saber and all that. Let's talk a little bit about Ultra Sabers and their customer service and their experience there. Um, it was a very good experience overall. I don't have any anything bad to say about the uh, the experience with Ultra Sabers. Um, I've seen people, you know, have have a bad experience on forums and on you know Reddit and different places, but I I didn't experience any of that. Um, I ordered my Saber. It was fairly straightforward. Um, to order when you know what you want, okay, you, you figure out the colors, you figure out the hilts, you figure out the soundboard you want, you do a little bit of research, but uh, fairly easy to figure out um, exactly what you want. And so I got what I wanted, um, no problem, got the order, got it all set, um, I entered the winter raffle, used the winter raffle code to try to hopefully, hopefully we'll win a free saber, uh, um, probably not, but... Here's, here's hoping, but I forgot to put my forum username in the in the box, um, in my comment box to tell them I wanted to be entered in the raffle and so they'd know who it was attributed to. Um, basically, the next day I got an email from the guy who was working on my Saber, I think, uh, or just someone there, uh, Corey, and he was the guy I talked to most, um, sent me back a, a message that, hey, you forgot to put your, your forum name in here, we want to make sure you get in the raffle. Um, so I thought that was really nice, and then and then moving forward, uh, I actually chose a, a flash on clash color that's called what's uh, it's called a forum color. It's not one that's typically in the drop down menu for this saber, um, but it is one that is available. But you have to ask for it, and you do have to pay. I, I had to pay ten dollars extra. In total, this thing cost me about two eighty five, a little under three hundred dollars. Um, and if you know anything about saber sabers, that's pretty middle of the road. Um, it's not super. Uh, high-end prices, but it's it's not the bottom of the barrel um, either uh, and so I feel like I got a good deal for a good price I think it's a good saber um, At a great price actually. I think it's a great price um, if you've done your research Then you'll know that 285 that's not bad. That's not bad um, So the customer service is great. Okay, and, and I, I got that form color and I, so I was constantly emailing back and forth with Corey and and, and I I asked him, you know uh, so I'm not sure about this this color. I ended up getting Sentinel Yellow as my Flash on Clash color. Um, and he said, "Yo, I think I, I think it's really a good color, and I like it." Um, and so he was very helpful. So nothing bad to say about customer service. All right. So enough of uh, the filler. Let's get to the the meat and potatoes, right? Um, I guess unless the potatoes are also filler, I don't know. All right. Anyways, the hilt, the the Dominic's version four. Uh, I got the the version four. Um, it's all black. It's aluminum. It's very sleek and shiny. Uh, I got. I did opt for the windows to get cut, and you'll notice if you know anything about these sabers. I also changed the switch to the the AV style switch. This is an illuminated switch. We'll see that here in a minute. Um, I don't really like the style of the the clicky ones that you have to click down. Uh, and honestly, I'm going to be spinning this thing around a lot, and the clicky ones looked like they were kind of big, um, and so I wanted a more uh, flat switch. Um, to be able to be able to spin this thing and you know do whatever else with it, you know whip it around. Um, the pommel I just got the standard pommel on it. It is vented. It's completely open in the bottom. You can see the speaker in there. Completely open in the bottom. Just screws right off. If you want to get the housing out to access the sound card, which you can do your own. Uh, you can use a mini USB to uh, change the sounds on this 
particular card and to get to my batteries. Uh, it does take a little work to get that card out. You just have to kind of work it out. Um, the housing is very tight, so I wouldn't worry about your, your pieces um, smacking around inside there. Everything looks to be pretty solid construction. The wiring is all very, uh, very clean um, from what I can tell. I'm very straightforward, so everything looks good. Um, I do wish personal preference here. Well, one uh, negative drawback that I'm noticing is my hands are a little big for this saber. Um, I wish these chokes were either widened a little bit or moved up a little bit, um, especially the top one. Um, but that's less a, a comment on the, the hilt itself and more a comment on my hands being fat. Uh, so, you know, if I, if I cross my fingers like this, it's a perfect fit. But, um, you know, as they are, my pinky's a little squished. Um, but I'll probably be one hand, uh, you know, spinning this thing around most of the time anyways. And I, I'll get used to uh, maybe adjusting my grip and finding somewhere um, that I like to hold it. So that's just kind of a personal thing. Um, it's very well balanced. Uh, you can see right around the emitter um, is kind of the, the balance point. I'm not. It's kind of hard to do with a finger because of the way the emitter is cut, it doesn't like to stay. So it's pretty well balanced right here though, um, where you'd expect. Um, very cool design, very sleek, very Sith-like, and that's what I wanted. I really wanted a Sith-like hilt, and that's actually the ultimate reason I went with Ultra Saber, uh, is because they had this style of hilt, and, and some of the other competitors I was looking at, um, their hilts were good, but they just weren't the style I was looking for. Um, and I wanted something very, um, not very big around, I wanted something that I could easily spin, kind of like a stunt saber. Um, but uh, that still was of good quality and good build quality. And this is really good build quality. It's very solid aluminum. Um, and it's great. It feels good. It's about 36 inches long. The blade, I believe, that is 36 inches long and a 12-inch hilt. Um, so let's get to the good stuff and let's turn this sucker on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, it's awesome. I know you're not going to be able to hear me. I'll try to talk over it. It's very red. Very red. See You'll notice the uh, the AV switch here. It looks a little yellowed out. It is very red. It's the same with the end. It's uh, it looks yellow at the end. It's not yellow in person. Actually, this color um, with this film, this medium grade blade, um, and the film inside actually extends the color the whole length of the blade with pretty much no fade off. Uh, a little fade off, but it's not bad. It's it's pretty good. Um, very loud. You can hear it. Alright, those are the movement sounds. Let me show you the flash on clash. And I'll put I'll put it in lockup as well. So it's very cool. Alright, let me turn it off. Nice cool off sound. Um very cool saber. Uh, the flash on clash surprised me a little bit. I did go with the sentinel yellow. I didn't want white because I heard the white would blend with the red um, and make it kind of a, a pink. So I thought maybe the yellow would be a better option because it would make it kind of an orange, which is more what I was going for. But this is very, very yellow. The sentinel yellow, if you're going to go yellow, you got to commit to the idea of yellow. Okay, Very yellow. Uh, but now that I've kind of messed with it for a few minutes and I've had it, I really like it actually. It's, it's a very cool yellow. It's very dramatic. Um, if you want something less dramatic, I'd recommend going orange um, with it with the red anyways, if you're going to go red. Um, the yellow is a, a very cool color, actually. I really like it, and I'm kind of glad I got it. It makes it unique. Uh, one of the reasons I'm making this review is I, I didn't actually see many red to yellow flash on clashes. Um, and I think it's because it's a forum color, so people don't always know it's an option um, to do the yellow. And so, yeah, I was, I was pretty happy. I was pretty happy with the yellow now. Um, and it looks cool and it's super dramatic and once my wife gets her sabers um, then we'll have some domestic disputes and I think once I think she'll probably get some uh, some light side garbage some green or some blue or something like that uh, and when we do the flash on clash with those I think the yellow is gonna look real cool and mix well with other colors um, all right so it looks cool uh, I really like it uh, you'll notice the sounds uh, it's very loud especially with this completely vented pommel very very loud and it's really cool um, it's got the movement sounds, it's got the sound with the, the clash. Um, but let me let me take you through, there's actually eight built-in settings. I know you can take the card out. Um, this is the Obsidian 4 soundboard. Um, and so you can actually take the card out, put, plug it in the computer with their client to, 
through the US mini USB and um, you can I believe make custom sounds or or change the profiles uh, and things like that um, and so that's maybe an option I'm gonna explore in, in the future I haven't quite gotten to that yet um, so let's let's look at some of these sounds uh, and I'll, I'll run you through the options there's eight sounds there's the default the black star the Sith the ancient saber uh, episodes one episodes two episode six and then there's a silent mode so let's walk through those and to turn it on you just hold down the button black star, and black star that's the black star this is the sith the ancient saber the ancient saber episode one episode one episode two episode two episode six episode six um so and then uh, you get to your muted function which just is a little beep to tell you hey you're muted then back to the obsidian this is, this is the default um, this is the default setting and then uh, there is back to black star which is my favorite all right and once I decide this is the sound I want I hold that button down again Confirm. and it's this uh, it does flash this nice green as long as I'm holding it it stays green and I'm kind of actually I know I was um, getting uh, you know talking on the green earlier but uh, it's actually a really cool green and I'm kind of jealous that I can't swap between red green blue so maybe eventually there's gonna have to be some sort of emerald LED upgrade or a purchase um, so I can do some swapping because this green looks really cool I didn't think it would look this good especially in daylight um, so if you want a green greens cool too or if you're a Sith Lord at heart this red's awesome especially in the dark All right, and uh, that's still a cool sound, um, nice off sound. All right, so that is my review on uh, on this this Ultra Saber um, Dominic's version four. Um, I'm gonna after this video, I'm gonna have a little little playthrough where I just kind of mess around with it in the dark, and you can kind of see it in action. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys got for your sabers. If you got a different flash on Clash or or what have you. Uh, and uh, if you want to know anything else about this, just ask in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. All right, guys. We'll, uh, we'll catch you next time.